Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys checking today's video out, man. Just a beautiful day here in Southwest Missouri. It's about 75 degrees, no wind, just really, really a nice day. Got shorts on, just got out of the gym. Want to take a chance to do today's video. Today, I'm going to share with you guys a subscriber comment. I, I shared one with you guys a couple weeks ago, but this one, to me, it says it all concerning everything we've been talking about with the technology and live scope. And you guys, a lot of you guys are going to say, oh God, here we go again, another live scope wine session by Randy. Guys, there, there was two or three big tournaments, one last weekend live scope. And as long as these tournaments are getting one on live scope, there's a story to be told about it. And the subscriber that left this comment yesterday tells it perfectly. So I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, real quick, before we get started here, just want to remind you guys about the Solar Bats Black Friday sale. We got the new My Signature Series RB2 Series sunglasses. You buy a pair of these, you get a second pair free of equal or lesser value. Um, really good deal all through the month of November. I'll include the Solar Bat link in the description if you want to get you a pair, man. You guys will really like them a lot. Okay, guys, I what happened here, there was a couple big tournaments again last weekend one live scope and same deal uh, wasn't for my live scope i wasn't one this tournament caught every fish I, I was looking at every fish i caught on live scope we've all heard it it's the same thing every single weekend and anyway i there was a, quite a few comments regarding this there was a feed going on about this one tournament a lot of people griping about it and one of my subscribers was messaging with me and we got into a little conversation about it and he was basically saying what the majority of my subscribers say they don't like the technology they think it's out of hand uh, they don't like the direction the sport is going so we had this conversation back and forth and he went he left the conversation he goes you know he goes i'm just saddened he said the game i love seems tainted guys that is perfect he said it absolutely perfectly the game he loves seems tainted and the reason i want to say that is that um the days of like remember the days of tommy biffle pitching a jig and a biffle bug and winning tournaments or uh you know john even recently john cox getting his little aluminum boat up you know skipping a wacky rig in six inches of water or rick clun cranking a square bill way up the river guys those days are over i'm telling you right now if there's a tournament that gets won um that's if there's a tournament that gets won without live scope it's going to be a rare event. Now it may happen during the spawn. That's probably about the only time, but the trend for, that I've looked at this past year, you simply can't win a tournament unless you're live scoping. It's gonna, the days of traditional bass fishing are over as long as these tournament organizations allow live scoping in. And the conversation we got in, I don't, those dudes that won last weekend, there was, I can't remember his name, but there was one one young, one one of the younger anglers that won the uh, Toyota Series Championship. Congratulations. I'm not, I'm not in any way lessening your win or saying anything's bad. That's an incredible accomplishment. All you guys out there that have won tournaments live scoping, I'm not saying a bad word about you. Congratulations. I know how hard it is to win tournaments. Any tournament win deserves congratulations. My my criticism, like we've talked about before, is with the tournament organizations allowing this technology in there to, that forces these anglers to have to use it. So that's the direction that I'm coming from here. We've always came from. But the point of what we're talking about is that I hear this more and more every single week since we had our poll where 86% of the subscribers said that they, they, they were for banning uh, forward-facing sonar during tournaments. I get it every single week, more and more. It's like, it's just not the same. It's like, I feel like now if I go out fishing, I, I just feel like that um, I'm a lesser bass fisherman if I'm not live scope. And it's like, I, the days of me just going out and throwing a spinner bait down a lay down or over, I can't go flip docks. I can't do anything. If I'm not roaming around, roaming around out there in open water with a live scope, I just don't feel like I can, I can catch them. And it's what it's doing, it's depressing millions of bass anglers are literally getting depressed from the fact that the sport that they love just like this subscriber said here the sport he loves seems tainted that's not an isolated incident guys all you dudes out there that are defending live scoper the defending live scope and all you pros out there that are watching this video or all you youtubers out there that are watching this video that goof on me and think i'm a freaking idiot for saying it i'm telling you right now this dude that says the sport he loves is tainted is the majority opinion. 
regardless if you want to you can deny the reality that doesn't change the fact that it is the reality but that is the that is the overwhelming consensus out there so you do it guys another one i'm going to bring it up and as long as these dudes keep winning tournaments on live scope and as long as the tournament organizations keep allowing it i'm going to keep bitching and whining about it so just get used to it so just wanted to drop that one there guys hope you all are doing good again appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel and uh, we'll talk later see it